Let's just test this out a little bit here. Oh, I love it. It it just it feels so much better than the primitive bow too, you know. We should test out our shotgun too, because why not? I think that was a pretty good test of our shotgun. What do you guys think? Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go do another trader quest and see if we can earn enough money to uh, purchase the shotgun. Let's grab the coinage now. i got a couple other things I'm going to sell to the trader here. Uh, so we got uh, these two things that we can sell. This, uh, what's this require for repairing? I think it requires an actual repair kit, right? Or maybe a cloth repair kit. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother spending resources fixing that up just to sell it might be worthwhile doing but not gonna do it okay we could let's sell one engine two we got that that we can sell anything else in here probably not really anything else in here i want to sell i mean we could we could make s some bank off of this though couldn't we hmm maybe i'll do that i mean we'll be able to get more it batteries are fairly rare but you can get them you just got to wrench a bunch of cars and right now we could use some bank. Uh, I want to save one of these for when we can eventually make a cement maker, um, a concrete mixer rather. And then, uh, you know, we'll need another engine for the motorcycle when the time comes. So let's see. Everything else in here I want to keep, I believe, at the moment. So, yeah. All right. So we'll sell that stuff and then take the trader's next quest. Now, I've been doing a little bit off-camera stuff. In fact, I've spent most of this in-game day doing off-camera stuff. It's already... Uh, almost 6.30 in the afternoon. Uh, but we have a full stack of food uh, here, and our food is is topped off. And uh, let's see, what do I got going on? I got uh, some water cooking up in there. Uh, I got a bunch of cobblestone that I've made in here. And um, I think that's mostly it. I know uh, I know we need to get going on uh, some of the quests, too. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get be more focused on that after we get this shotgun but i want to get the shotgun first because it's just going to really make a big difference in our survivability so let's go sell what we currently have to the trader and then see if that doesn't get us enough to buy it then we'll do his next quest uh, and we'll well we'll do the next quest anyways and then go from there so i'm slowly getting my construction and mining tool skills up uh, okay, so let's see. May I see your inventory? Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's um, let's put our luckies on. I don't know if that matters a whole lot with the trader, though. Okay, so we're going to sell this to you. We're going to sell this to you. This and this. Okay, so that gets us 4361. His shotgun is 4610. So hopefully, uh, by doing one more job for him, we'll be able to... Uh, get that taken care of okay so let's see a fetch clear these are all kind of far away this is the closest one i have a dilemma so let's do this oh, one thank you very much i will make it worth your while yeah um i, I do definitely want to get going on the uh, on the quests continue you know continue working on them but um, let's get this shotgun first, and then we'll then we'll kind of get back to focusing on on that. Okay, here we are. I'm not going to bother double looting uh, just because time we have really limited time today. So let's just hop on in here and get her done. So this is yeah, this is a fetch quest. It looks like the satchel is on this floor so very good um let's um kill the zeeks first and we have to of course stay within range of the poi and we're gonna get some outside zombos coming in too so not so good okay so much for uh doing this quickly huh <laughs> What I want to do is, let's put this down and use it to assist us. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get some more aloe too. Um, let's see here. Who 
Let's hop back in here and see if we can get to this satchel. Uh, we just got somebody else's attention. Looks like it's another Arlene here. So uh, let's set this right about here. I don't want to get too far away from the cabin. Close that door. I'm not going to loot everything. We'll just loot kind of random things. But the thing is, is we're not probably not going to make enough money from the quest directly. So we do we do need to loot stuff so we have things to sell uh, to the trader when we get back. Let's get that down there and let's get our barricades down here. So our satchel is going to be in here. Oh, it's right there. But there's a Zeke. Oh, shit. I was going to say, I'll bet there's a Zeke in here, though. Oh, we got three skill points. Nice. Okay, let's get this. And that way we've, we've completed the quest. And then uh, we just need to kind of see if we can quickly get to the fat loots. Uh, we're running out of time, too. That's the other challenge here. Okay, so um, I don't really know where the fat loots are in this place. Got somebody who's going to be coming down from up there in a second. Oh, or right there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, there's someone at the door here. There certainly is. Okay. Is there anything else down here that we need to be concerned with? I don't think so. I'd like to kind of take that workbench apart to get the stuff from it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to, uh, unless the trader doesn't close in Ravenhurst. I mean, it doesn't close in the sense that it kicks you out. Uh, but I don't think we're going to make it back unless we can still, you know, get in there. Oh, look at you guys. We have one hour left before nightfall. <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming the fat loots are just going to be... Is there like an attic or something in this place? I don't know. We're working on getting that knife skill up. Once we hit 20, uh, then we can make the real hunting knife. Looking forward to that. All right, let's check these bookcases. Uh, oh, nice. Do 10% more damage with clubs. Okay. We might try clubs at some point. We'll see. Um, Hunting rifle schematic. All right. We already have a hunting rifle, but it's nice to know that we can make one now. Okay, we, oh, let's get this door closed quick. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right, we'll fight him here. All right, so um, we got some food here. Check the sinks for your wrenches as always. If I had more time, I'd actually wrench the sinks because we can get uh, grass and stuff out of them, but um, we need coffee beans too, which we're not getting. 
Definitely want to scrap these. Those aren't worth anything. Uh, 55. Yeah, maybe we'll hang on to those for selling. Definitely going to sell the jacket. We might even sell some of this other stuff too, just to, you know, just so we have the, the room for it. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, and it's not that it isn't valuable, but we just need to save space. All right, where in the hell are the fat loots in this place? It doesn't look to me like there's a an upper floor. I think this is it, right? Do we not have any fat loots in this place? Oh, nice. Okay. It is time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. We accomplished the quest. That was the main thing. Um, what I want to do, too, if we can pull it off without getting et, is I'd like to go get the gasoline out of those uh, the gas pumps. Oh, wow. I can't believe they tagged us. Uh, this might be tough to do, actually. <laughs> Look how fast these guys are running. This probably has... Does this have, like, new sleepers, too? And, no, it doesn't look like the sleepers have reset. Well, maybe they have... Okay, let's see if we can get rid of these yahoos and circle back and grab the gas. If we can't, we don't need it right now, but it'd be a good idea to, you know, to cycle that, if you know what I mean, so it can keep making gas for us. The problem with trying to get away from these guys is I just run into a new group. Let's see if we can get back over here. We got a spider on us now. Okay, let's grab these and um, let's wear those. Got to put a couple things in here so we're not encumbered. Thought I had more empties in my inventory or in my bike, but apparently I don't. Got those two. We have enough empties to do one more if the stupid spider wasn't here. Hurry, 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 hurry. No, what the hell? He wasn't looting. I hit the wrong key. Time to go. Okay, well, I don't have enough empties to reset any other any of the other pumps that we've done, so uh, we've got a little more gas out of that. Okay, let's go back home and see if the trader uh, is still open at night. I, I guess I just don't remember if he is or not, so I'll see you guys back over there. Okay, so stuff we want to sell is this, that, that, these. Can we sell these? Oh, we can. I don't know, you guys told me I need to hang on to those for, for a quest for later on, so I'll just hang on to them for now. All right. Let's see if we can get in here. My guess is that he's still open. Uh, I mean, available to sell stuff to because he's still open. 
Many thanks. Okay. You've proved to be very resourceful. That'll sell for 47. Yeah. That'll sell for 110. Find 10% more jewelry and precious gems and clothing. Uh, okay, yeah, let's grab that. And then we're going to sell... Uh, I'm going to hang on to that for the moment. I'm not going to sell it quite yet. Ooh, I want the you black die. You have a great day now. I will keep the black die. Okay, so let's sell this... This, that, these, and that should give us enough money to buy the shotgun. Boom. Okay. You don't have any shotgun shells, so I think we looked earlier. Uh, I do have some. You come back sometime. I do have some. Um, whoa. What the hell? Big lockup. Back at the base. Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Let's just grab all of that except for... Here, we'll refuel this too. And then we'll put the gasoline and the empty cans back in there. And the rest of it we'll take with us back up into the base. Okay, cool. So ladies and gentlemen... We finally have ourselves a double-barreled shotgun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we have 105 uh, shotgun shells. And I'm not going to use this shotgun, um, you know, all the time. It's it's really just going to be for emergencies right now. But, oh, man, this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so um, here, what am I doing? Let's go over here. Just trying to see if I have any mods that would actually fit on the shotgun. I don't think I do at the moment. We're just going to have to use it as is. Okay, I'm going to retire um, two blunderbusses uh, because this will give us a total of four shots. Um, that'll free up some space in our inventory. Uh, in doing that, okay, so we'll get that put over there. One of the things that I want to also start working towards is um, pipe bombs. Because we, we now have the ability to make pipe bombs. Oh, we have points, too. Let's take a look at those. Um, so, let's see. I took the first point in Demolitions Expert so that we can make pipe bombs. Um, and I think, I'm assuming the recipe is the same as vanilla. Pipe bomb ammo. So, yeah, we just need plant fibers, pipes, and gunpowders. Um, so, gunpowder is the thing, and I don't have an abundance of nitrate, so I need to find a nitrate supply. I've got a little bit there, but not a lot. And, you know, we do have a coal mine already, so coal's not an issue. We just need to find some more nitrate so I can start making gunpowder. Uh, we have access to the Kim bench, you know, that's over at the trader. So, you know, we can, we've got that part of it covered. We just need, it's mostly nitrate. And I, I don't, I haven't come across a nitrate. Uh, deposit that I have noticed. I found everything else but that. Let's go ahead and read this now because uh, that will come in handy, of course. And we'll put the vinegar in there and the salt. I need to do a little more hunting, too. These parts can go in here for now. I'm keeping all the books in here. Just sitting on those. And that can go in there. I'll turn the nails into nails. Whoops. Looks like my caps lock key is on. And uh, let's see, the die. I'm just going to throw the die in there for now, too. We should have... I, I made a whole bunch of water, but I can't put that in there, can I? No. Okay, I'm not going to take that water out for now because it's taking up space. So we can just store it in there. Okay, I think that gets our inventory management taken care of. We'll put the rest of this uh, money back in there. And empty jars in here. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now, let's take a look at points. We're going to go into here, and we have three points available. Uh, I want to look at action skills. So we are four points away from mining 20, three points away... 
from construction. I don't know if, whoops, I don't know if that was a running horde or not. And bladed weapons is 26. Oh! Yeah, no, we need we need to get 40. I'm sorry, we need to get 40 in bladed weapons in order to make the hunting knife. We've already hit 20, and that make, lets us make the scrap knife, but then I found this really high-quality bone knife, so I've been using that. Okay, so yeah, we need to still keep working on this. Uh, about the only time I would spend a point on an action skill is if we're like one point away, you know, from getting the next level. Um, in that situation, I might do it, but we're not even, we're not close. Uh, we're not one point away in any of this stuff, so we're not going to worry about that. Shotgun weapons, um, you know, I mean, we got four because we've used the blunderbuss a little bit. Initiate lets us craft the double barrel, and then journeyman would be the pump, So, but that would require 40. So yeah, we're just going to, you know, we're going to need to start making ammo so that we can start using the shotgun on a regular basis in order to get the, you know, the skill up. Okay, let's go back to this stuff. So we want to look at some other things. Um, strength is two. Sexual transource, I wouldn't mind getting some more points in that, but let's look at some other things first. So perception, we took demolitions. Lockpicking, hmm, I mean useful, but I don't know if that's the highest priority right now. Uh, let's just do lucky looter. Let's do that right now and get it done because we need to do it. Okay, uh, let's take a look at fortitude. Uh, pain tolerance and iron gut would be two that I might be interested in. So let's keep iron gut in mind, but let's look at agility. We already have Flurry of bowls, uh, Blows. Running Gun is going to start to become useful now that we have a shotgun. Um, so, yeah. Or in here, Better Barter would become useful. Daring Adventurer. Charismatic Nature Physician. Okay, so um, I think what's going to serve us the best right here and now is Iron Gut. So let's take it. Because food's still a pain in the ass. I mean, we're not in dire straits anymore but i mean it takes a long time to, to go fishing you know well because you have to dig up the worms first which takes a long time then you have to go fishing which takes a long time then you have to cook it which doesn't take a long time but you know what i'm saying so if we can get to the point where we don't have to eat quite as much that's going to help overall with that sort of thing okay so that spins our points um speaking of food we do need to, to eat uh so let's do that now because we're be uh, below the halfway point and um, I think, guys, for the rest of tonight, um, I'm not really going to go back out and about. What I might do, if there's no Zeeks around, I might go down and work in the mine a little bit. Um, but when the morning comes, what we'll do is we'll get back to focusing on some quests. Now, let's see what we currently have. we got to do this composting thing. Um, the tough thing for this one was going to be... 10 coffee beans, I think. And I have eight. I've been saving them over here. So the only way, really, we're going to get more coffee beans is if we do some more POIs, you know, to do looting. So the rest of the stuff's not a big deal. Um, do we have 50 rotting flesh already? We have, almost do. So, yeah, that wouldn't be hard to come by. We can just go, go you know, uh, take apart some gut piles. The other thing I was going to actually look at is I have the ability to make the wooden bow and the crossbow. The reason I'm hesitant to do that is because if I spend all of these resources, which is significant to me right now, I mean, 25 forged iron and three duct tape, you know, all that, I'm only going to be able to make level 74 and I'm not going to be able to repair it because it's less than 100. Uh, likewise, with the wooden bow, I can make the wooden bow, but I won't be able to repair it. So, uh, of course, in terms of at least the iron, this one's a lot cheaper than the crossbow. Hmm. And, and, you know, this shitty level, you know, wooden bow is going to be significantly better than even the green primitive bow, though. You know, that's not that expensive, actually. Maybe we should make that. I think I had some glue cooking up in the chemistry bench at the trader. Uh, we have glue here. So, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's actually make... The wooden bow. I, I think the crossbow is too expensive for us to make right now, considering the fact that we won't be able to repair it. But the wooden bow is not, not that bad. Uh, now that I look at it a little more, you know. Here, let's do this. Wooden bow. 
Okay, what do we need? We need 30 wood and... Uh, oh, and we need five duct tape. And I only have three glue and three duct tape. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back to the trader and get that extra glue that I made and left in the chem bench. If we're going to do that... Okay, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> I, I could hear I can har I can almost never make out what that voice those voices are saying. All I know is they send chills down my spine because they're kind of scary. Anyway, um <laughs> uh so yeah, we need to go get the glue from the trader. And if we're gonna make a run over there, let's just grab all of the nitrate and coal that we do have. I'm assuming it's a one-to-one -one ratio, like it would be in uh, oh, it's, oh shit, it's a 3 to 3 ratio? Oh man, why does everything in this freaking mod have to be so hard? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, um, yeah, well, let, we'll, we'll get that going anyway. And uh, let's go get the glue, so. I'm going to eat another thing of food here and let's also drink one of these okay I don't have anything in there do I? no okay let's see if we can luck out and get over to the trader without attracting a night walker or something stealth meter shows that we're making max noise. That's because of our light, probably. I actually tried to turn the light off, and it's not. It's the... There's a bug with that. Had it for quite some time. Oh, you know what I can do, though? I should be able to... Uh... Holding F, F doesn't let me bring up the wheel. Huh, maybe that's disabled in the mod. Okay, we got 24 glue. And we'll make 53 gunpowder, so that'll get us a handful of... Yeah, that's going to be... Two minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, that'll give us a handful of... What the hell am I trying to say? Oh, pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. That's actually not going to be enough burn time. Um, oh, yeah, I got more coal here. Okay, so we need about two minutes to burn. Oh, no, it is. I'm sorry. I'm reading it the wrong direction. We actually only need... need a minute and 55 there. So as long as nothing detects me, I'm just going to wait for that to finish so we can bring it back with us and then we'll make some pipe bombs. Okay, so we got the uh, gunpowder taken care of. Now I'm just going to bomb the nose on out of here. Did we ever check to see if the cement mixer in this place was functional? I think I did, and I don't think it is, but let's just double check that. You should have, oh, I guess that hasn't reset. Okay, so the cement mixer is, I thought it was in one of these rooms. Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh, you know what, I, I think it is, I think we did find it and realize that it was broken and so I, I probably just took it apart with my wrench that would be my guess okay let's make ourselves a wooden bow it's going to be a crap level one but 
it's still going to be better than the green primitive bow that we've been using. So we're going to need to make two more duct tape. And we needed, I think we only needed five iron ingots. And some leather, right? Leather, leather. What are we missing? Oh, uh, we're missing wood. There we go. All right, that'll take a minute. Let's let that finish up. Now, um, let's grab these pipes and let's grab some grass, which I think I have in one of these guys. There we go. And we're going to make some pipe bombs too. Now, if, if all goes well, Hopefully I can have a decent quantity of these for the next Horde Knight, and then we can use them to fight the Horde. So, we'll see how things go. Okay, let's grab our wooden bow. And load it up with some iron arrows. So let's take, compare its stats. So, yeah, even, even though it's poor quality, it's going to shoot straighter. And it's got significantly better stats than the green primitive bow. Uh, the velocity, for example, you know, is only 35 on this one, where it's 54 on this one. Um, what's the durability comparison? That's probably not as good. Oh, it's even got better durability than the green primitive, too. So, yeah, it's better in every way, man. Better in every way. Let's go test it out a couple times, and then we need to wrap up this episode. And then we'll probably start the next episode um, just within a couple of moments of ending this one on this day. And we'll, we'll go hit some more POIs. Uh, and start working on our quests. Uh, but I want to see... Let's just test this out a little bit here. Oh, I love it. It it just it feels so much better than the primitive bow, too, you know? We should test out our shotgun, too, because why not? I think that was a pretty good test of our shotgun. What do you guys think? Okay. Let's, um... Pop you. And I don't now I can aim more directly too. I don't have to uh I don't have to you know aim so high to compensate for the trajectory. Love it. Alright you guys, well I need to let you go in this episode. And um like I said, I'll probably just start very quickly um after this one's over. And we'll go hit some more POIs and start really trying to zero in on Getting some more of these quests done, starting with the the compost quest so we can start getting some, you know, growing some of our own food. Um, yeah, all right. That's all for today. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.